Okay, this is uh, driving in Thailand. Uh, this is a public road in the province. I just made this video to illustrate that the roads are pretty good here um, compared to Philippines. In the Philippines, all they have is uh, two-way, two-lane roads in the province. Like for example, you'll be driving here on this side and then the oncoming traffic would be driving over there on the other side coming straight at you. So if you had a, a slow truck in this lane and you wanted to pass, you'd be going head on and that's pretty dangerous and you'd be doing that for around 10 hours if you wanted to go long distance in the Philippines. Whereas here in Thailand, I mean they're smart, they even have lighting here so it's safer. They have a, a two lane road going that way and a two lane road going the opposite direction. Um, these are public roads, they're not private. I understand the countries are Philippines is poor and they can't afford nice roads and the only good roads they have are the toll roads. Um, but this is a public road in Thailand and Thailand is not a filthy rich country and they can afford to make a nice road like this. And I'm, I'm like wondering why the Philippines can't. And I'm, I'm sure it's the answer is corruption. Corruption. The Philippines is corrupt as fuck. So that's why they don't have money for the roads. They just pocket all the damn money that they should be using for the public good. Um, obviously Thailand, they're a little more honest. There's corruption here too. But uh, they at least take the time to make good roads for their people. Um, this is more, of, more or less, it looks like a road that you could find in the United States. Uh, and it's public. Uh, if, if you have a public road that's this far out in the, away from the city, because we're outside of Patty. I left Patty like an hour ago. Um, so this is out there and I didn't expect it to be this nice. I expected really rough roads and like crazy shit, but this is pretty nice for public, really good. Uh, like I said, Philippines, they got buses that flip over because they try to pass, like this would be your lane and then they'd go into the oncoming lane, which would be like this, and the traffic would be coming towards them and then they'd wind up doing some dumb shit and flipping over and killing people. All because the country can't upgrade the roads and, uh, and make nicer roads for the people and then they have people dying. And it's just, it's just fucking useless. You know, here's a crazy fuck right here, the way he's driving. But I mean, he's driving that way, we're both going the same direction, so it's, if we had an accident, it wouldn't be a severe accident. But if it was a two lane road like that in the Philippines and they had a guy driving like that guy, oh, well imagine it'd be a head on accident, head on collision, and that would be some people getting killed. So, um, I mean, it's important. I know the roads are fucking expensive and the countries aren't loaded with cash, but uh, I know I know the countries can afford to fucking build roads. For sure they can. Philippines has the money. Those motherfuckers have money. I know they do. And they just fucking pocket the money. Which the corruption is so fucking bad. And the people, uh, sorry to say, they, they don't have the balls to stand up and, and uh, stop the corruption. Uh, here at least they have, they have a little more honesty. They're still... You'll find corruption here too, yeah, but every country has corruption. But at least most of the most of your taxes go to the road. I mean, or to whatever the public services you need, instead of fucking have some jackass politician fucking put it in his pocket. I mean, this isn't uh, this isn't bad. If I had to pay a toll, I, w I wouldn't mind. This would be, I would expect to pay a toll for a road like this in Thailand because it's, it's pretty good. Um, but if you don't pay a toll up there in the Philippines, yeah, you're gonna fucking get a really dangerous road. Mind you, very dangerous, crazy fucking drivers. Which, yeah, they have here, like you saw that fucking jackass a second ago. But, uh, yeah, we're all going the same direction, so the accident wouldn't be too bad if you had one. Anyhow, uh, this road goes to Laos. Laos? I don't know how they say it. But, uh, I left Padia. Uh, I was on Highway 7, which kind of goes into Bangkok, and then you divert away from Bangkok, and you go, uh, what direction is that? You go east, and then you go east, northeast, and then that goes to Laos, and then the drive is uh, nine hours. It's a long-ass drive. Most tourists, they go, they go to Laos, they take an airplane, or, or a bus, or I heard they even have trains. I don't know the train, I don't see any train tracks, but... Anyhow, yeah, if you look out here, it's, it's like a bunch of uh, farmland, as you'd expect. And um, 
I like to drive. It's much, it's much nicer than than what I would expect. Yeah, of course I'm trying to film and drive at the same time. Uh, yeah, see how green it is out there? I should probably change my angle. See all those nice trees and shit? I don't know what that is. It's probably a gas, natural gas or something. Um, yeah, the roads are a little bit bumpy. But you see they even fix them. They got like asphalt patching and stuff. I, I just, it's like if you're from the United States or from, you know, Western countries, you expect the roads to be nice because that's just what you, you live, you've been living with your whole life. You come from a third world country, you're like, ah, uh, you're surprised, you're, you'd be, usually they're fucked up, but I'm surprised these roads, they take care of them and the country is not really filthy loaded with cash, so that's really good that Thai people care. I don't know, it's, uh, it's, I lived in the Philippines two years, so I got a lot of driving there. It just drives you fucking nuts. Having a car and driving in the Philippines, you'd be crazy. And you'll sit in traffic your whole fucking life. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm going back to the United States. At least uh, I can go to the store and I have to fucking sit in traffic for fucking 20 minutes. Oh my God, it's silly. Um... Yeah, Thailand looks like they care. And when you look around, I, you know, I don't see any trash on the street. Like, I haven't seen any trash on this highway. And I don't see trash in Patia where I was. Um, I guess it's a real big no-no to throw any trash out the window. And but in the Philippines, oh my God, you'll see trash every fucking place. It's like no big deal. There's the king. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's the king of Thailand. They do that, I guess. I don't know why they like. They put his picture every damn place. Oh fuck! Where am I? Where are we? So I rented this car. It's a Honda Jazz. Um, I rented from National Car Rental. I don't know if you can see in my rear view mirror. It might even say National Car Rental. Yeah, you might be able to see it. National Car Rental. It says it's an American company. It's about. Um, 6,000 baht per day. That's pretty good. And that's around like, uh, how much is that in a, that's around a hundred, yeah, yeah, that's around $190. That's like comparable to US rental cost. Like if you rented a car in the United States, it'd be the same price. Uh, so, and it only has, uh, what like, uh, low mileage. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 30,000 kilometers. It's only like 15,000 miles. It's got push button start. It's a Honda Jazz, I mean, I like it. It's got Bluetooth and shit on it. Uh, it's fast, it's got a sport mode. Look at this shit right here. Where's the sport mode at? Yeah, see this shit here? Sport mode. It's fucking awesome. It goes way faster. It's good on gas and stuff. Anyway, it's perfect for going around Thailand. And these these crazy people, they ride motorcycles, which I don't understand. I mean, if, if you can just go to the car rental place and just get a, rent a car. I don't want to drive around and get ran over on a motorcycle. Forget that. It's only, it's only fun if you're on the big bike. Yeah, small bikes are really not that fun. The big bikes are fucking fast. And you'd have a blast on them. Yeah, they're dangerous too, of course. But I crashed, uh, yeah, my dumbass. I crashed two big bikes. So, um, and if you crash one here in Thailand, you're in big fucking trouble. They're going to want like $1,000 if you even put a scratch on one of them. So yeah, I, I gotta. I I don't even mess with the bikes anymore. I'm just going with these um, little car, little Honda Jazz. Oh, let's see this fucking guy. Uh, okay, well, I gotta I gotta concentrate on my driving. How much? This probably getting boring by now, of course. But yeah, you see the roads here, pretty nice. Uh, see the location. Said I'll be on this road for 100 kilometers. That's around like six, 60 miles. And I hope the roads stay this nice and hopefully they don't go to shit by the time I get closer to Laos. Uh, it might go down to a single lane and like, the, you know, like I was talking about, one, way in each, one lane each direction, which would be really shitty. I would hate that. 
It's this way all the way to Lael, so that'd be really great. Most people, they fly in an airplane if they want to go to Laos. There's a small airport there. And you can take a bus, too. Yeah, people tailgate the shit out of you if you don't get out of their way. Yeah, go ahead and pass. Yeah, they're, they're eager, really eager to move. Yeah, look at them go. I'll be like that in a second when I get off this camera. I can't be driving all crazy when I'm filming shit. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.